like this video to press like and subscribe button. Thank you. Recently, you might have seen one of my earlier videos about future of electric plane. However, I never really looked closely on one of the more promising programs, Airbus's own e-thrust concept, an idea of hybrid electric plane that could possibly replace A320 family of aircraft in the early 2030s and 2040s. So what is e-thrust? E-thrust is an idea of building more sustainable eco-aircraft in the 21st century, with Airbus playing a pivotal role in creating a technology. Rolls-Royce and Airbus will develop the jet over the coming two decades, with culmination of the project being a 90 to 100 seater passenger aircraft, capable of at least three hour journey, which could radically transform commercial aviation by 2050. The whole proposition of e-thrust is based on principle of hybrid electric propulsion that could slash fuel cost whilst also remain relatively green, with reduction in carbon emission by 75% yet maintaining relatively good efficiency. The proposed Airbus plan or strategy works in conjunction with the European Union strategy that will see CO2 emissions reduced by 75% by 2050. A flight plan 2050 is a strategy that calls for drastic reduction in CO2, nitrogen oxides and noise levels. E-thrust is primarily designed to meet and exceed those targets. Although E-thrust jetliner won't be 100% green as it relies on gas to power initial takeoff and landing phase of aircraft flight. During the flight phase, the aircraft will utilize battery storage on board, a very similar concept to hybrid cars such as Toyota Prius. Airbus is developing a concept of distributed propulsion system that features a number of electric fans arranged in clusters along the length of each wing. A battery powers the fan, which is also charged by onboard advanced gas power unit. The gas plant powers the fans directly, though the battery can be charged to power an emergency landing should the gas system fail. A slick airframe design also allows for reduced weight and drag by decreasing the size of the vertical tail and improving weight distribution. To increase the efficiency of the entire system, solar cells will be integrated into e thrust fuselage, giving the aircraft extra range or ability to charge batteries while in flight. The e-thrust will rely on an array of lightweight, high-efficiency electrical fans to propel the aircraft forward. In current design, there are six fans grouped into two arrays of three. However, the optimum number of arrangements of fans is still to be determined. The fan blades will be made of lightweight advanced composite to keep the weight of the units down to absolute minimum. This will allow them to be placed in the best position for the aerodynamics of the aircraft. This is a huge improvement over modern turbofan jet engines, which have to be hung under the wings due to their size and weight. The electric motor powering the fans and all connections between the fans, energy storage and gas power unit will use superconducting materials. This is a bold step as it requires cryogenic cooling throughout all the electrical systems. If a viable system can be designed, there are huge benefits to be gained in power and efficiency. Superconducting materials such as the proposed magnesium diabrite, which is currently used in MRI scans, have zero electrical resistance. A significant amount of power is lost as heat due to resistance in the electrical conductors and using superconductors throughout the system would eliminate this loss. Superconducting magnets, as in MRI machines, are also capable of generating huge magnetic fields. Laboratory tests have demonstrated fields up to 17 Tesla, which would make for an incredibly powerful electric motor. A superconducting motor would also lead to more weight savings, as the ceramic coils and packs would be far lighter than are traditional copper and iron structures used in conventional electrical motors. If all goes well and design can be completed by 2040, e-thrust will revolutionize air travel 
The air travel become cheaper due to lower fuel costs, but also due to efficiency of the new technology. The fact the future of air travel is green, a greener than current generation of aircraft by significant margin, would also play an important role on how we travel in the future and how often. I for one I am looking forward to flights that won't have dramatic impact on my pocket but also the environment as well. Oh, 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 o